We're Cheryl and Ben Coles. We've been camping together for over 35 years. A few years ago, we started doing video reviews of Ontario Provincial Parks to help people when researching places to visit. We are now in Season 5 of our park reviews. We hope this helps you in deciding where to have your next camping adventure. Now let's go camping with the Coles. We're starting our trip to Texas. We're heading out in about 20 minutes. We're just doing the final preparations. Uh, part of that is taking Jack's here, Blondie Locks here, for a walk. He's a little bit uh, rambunctious right now. And I'm sure we're gonna have to stop taking for a few walks on this route. Ran into a bit of a snag. We uh, planned this out quite a bit. Did a lot of planning on this. We have all our places booked. Everything's good. Then yesterday, for some reason, both Cheryl and I got sick the day before we we're ready to leave. We had different types of sickness too. I had a uh, kind of chest and head cold. Cheryl had, uh, well, she's sick, sick to her stomach. So both of us were uh, kind of bedridden for the day and not sure if we were going to be able to head out on this trip. But 24 hours later, we're both doing better. We're certainly not 100%, but we are going to uh, forge on through. And uh, the good thing is, if it gets bad, I get too tired, we can just pull over to a rest area, got my bed right there, and have a little nap. So let's head out on this trip. Today's the day we are on our way to Texas. Texas? Texas. All right. We uh, are going to do it in three nights to get there. And coming back, we're going to do four nights. We're going to have a little bit more time coming back. The best part is the drive down. We will be stopping at an outlet mall. In and, Cincinnati. Yep. And then we'll spend the night at a Cabela's. Yep, that outlet mall doesn't allow overnight parking, no. so we're going to go five miles away to the Cabela's and we're going to spend the night there. And I've had a couple parks, state parks after that. Yeah, all the rest of the nights we're staying in state parks. Should be fun. See you down the road. We have 665 kilometers to travel today, and we are oh, at 62 kilometers, and we're doing Cheryl's first bathroom break. This could be a very long trip. So we're on the Ambassador Bridge right now, heading to the border. We're in Windsor, we're going into uh, Detroit. And uh, I don't know why, but I always get nervous when I go to the border. We're not doing anything wrong, but I always get nervous. Um, to keep things simple here, crossing the border, this is tough for Cheryl. <laughs> but to keep things simple, I said, let's just say no meat, no fruit, no vegetables, no dairy. It's nice and simple because the rules are, they're kind of a mess. You never know what's right. Um, so. Depends who you get working there, I think. Yeah. So the one thing though, uh, like no meat, um, your dog food. If you do have dog food, you have to make sure it's in a sealed package and that it was purchased in Canada because there are meat products in there and generally uh, they don't want meat products crossing the border. Mm -hmm. Can I turn for a second? Yeah, look at this, beautiful. Here's a nice view. Stop at the border, yes. Uneventful, which is how we like it. She opened up the trailer and went in. Yeah. But we were all good. Yeah, we're all good. So, southbound we go. Welcome to the US of A. So we're still in Michigan, probably about uh, 20 minutes from the border, and we decided to do our shopping. So of course, Walmart is the place to go. Cheryl did it all, and I think we're staying for about a month. Oh, 
was your shopping experience oh. at Walmart? Oh, it was busy. Are we good for a month now? Well, I had to check out everything before we came, so I had to rebuy everything. Cabela's always offered overnight parking, and we last stayed at this Cabela's in Westchester Township in 2017, and we were allowed to park here. But uh, apparently, a bylaw has been enacted, and you can't park here anymore. So we need to find a spot to uh, spend the night. We're going to go have a look around. So we came to Cracker Barrel. They often provide RV spaces, and we found that they do have RV spaces, and they're right here. Clearly marked. And we have a truck in this lane and two cars in that lane and one RV doing it properly. Well, I guess we have to find some other place. Nice people at Cracker Barrel said we could park around back since the uh, RV bus spots were taken up by cars. So we're back here. Just kind of tucked in behind this uh, car carrier. Here we are the first night. It is 9, 10 p.m. Um, Cabela's failed us. They no longer have overnight parking. It wasn't Cabela's that failed us, though. It wasn't Cabela's. It was, it was Westchester. The township. Township, yeah. Yeah, they Cabela's no longer. Cabela's wouldn't normally allow it. They no longer have overnight parking in that township. So we are at Cracker Barrel along the route. We've managed to find a spot left here. And uh, so the slide out remains in. We have no shore power. We have our TV on, and it's hooked up to the power station yeah to the power station and our fridge and lights are on battery and propane so and we get 71 channels here 71 okay 71 channels yeah there's my water jug so we have some water because we didn't bring water we we're just living off water in the jugs and pb and j for the win tonight so that is it for tonight uh the rest of the time we're actually going to be at state parks yes just yes. tonight we're uh we're camping and parking lot. Yeah, it was a pretty wet drive and everything's pretty wet in here right now, including Jax. Jax? Yeah, he's soaked. He's soaked. So, yeah, not a good way to start off, but at least we got a spot for the night. So, good night. Good morning. Just thought I'd share how our night at Cracker Barrel went last night. Just after 7 in the morning. Um, we got here you know, 10 to 9 last night. It was pretty late. Cracker Barrel was shortly going to be closing. Um, we managed to get a spot around back. They let us stay the night. Um, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Anyway, last night was pretty loud. We're right beside the highway, which is right there. Um, ben, of course, sleeps like a log. I have one eye, one ear open. It felt like we were camping at Craig Leith. Um, <laughs> we're just going to have some breakfast a quick little breakfast here ben loves cereal on the plus side health wise cheryl you look like you're almost 100 percent. yeah so we're on the mend yeah and uh, i still have the cough and a little chest thing but uh mm -hmm. we're troopers we're moving on mm -hmm. so <coughs> proper etiquette for when you're boondocking in a parking lot you always ask the manager first you always stay hitched to your vehicle you don't be pulling out tip outs and slides etc because you want to be able to just move instantly if you need to um, and it's proper etiquette to um, 
buy a meal or some food, groceries or something at the place you're staying. Um, we've in the past had dinner at Cracker Barrel and then stay the night, but we got here way too late. And Ben just likes to have cereal in the morning. So maybe I'll pop into the store and see if there's something I could buy before we leave. And then we will get gas and head on to our next you will definitely go in there and buy something because it's shopping. Yeah, yeah. You have to do that. Maybe we'll go for a quick little tour. Just me and Bob Ross having a little chat. Number two. Number two. We are on our way to Tom Bigby State Park in Tupelo, Mississippi. We just did some uh, scary driving through Cincinnati. Um, basically, fun. basically, the I-75 is not my cup of tea. I really don't like being on the I-75. Um, but we're through that, and now we're on I-71, and so far this is much nicer. Yeah. Open road. Um, Here, have a peek. Look at all the greenery. Okay. We have 870 kilometers to go today. So it's our biggest drive day of this entire trip. We headed out at 8.30 in the morning with bathroom breaks and uh, walk breaks and stuff. We'll see how long it takes us to get there. But uh, we're finally going to a campground with full hookups. Yes. Water, electric, and sewage. Hopefully it's not raining, we can dry out all the wet stuff and I can meal prep finally. Um, yeah, we'll see you there. States and uh, it asks you for your zip code to prevent fraud it asks for your zip code what you do is you use the numbers in your postal code and you add two zeros after that so if your postal code is like n2a1p6 it'd be the two the one and the six so two one six zero zero and that'll work welcome to Tennessee We are on the Natchez Trace Parkway. Finally, this is such a nice relaxing drive here now. There's nobody on here right now. It's such a well manicured drive. Yeah, 444 miles through a national forest. There isn't a stop sign or a traffic light along the route. It's one lane each way, a speed limit of 50 miles per hour. And what you see is what you get. It is just beautiful, easy driving, no commercial vehicles allowed, no transport trucks. What a relief after what we've been driving through. This is how it's supposed to be. This is traveling in style.
Well, here we are at Meriwether Lewis Campground on the Natchez Trace Parkway. One, it's one of the free campgrounds you can come to. Yep. Doesn't cost anything to stay here. You can stay for up to 14 days. There's a number of sites here. Um, they all have a fire ring, picnic table, a garbage can. There's water readily available. Mm -hmm. The uh, water is threaded. So I just watched the guy use a uh, filter on it and fill up a water jug. You might hear a little bit of a dull roar. That's because it's pretty hot over right now. It's about 28 Celsius. And a lot of people around here are using their generators because there's no hookups at all. There's no dump station either. It's just a basic campground. There are no <coughs> facilities of any kind here. Um, I think there are- Except for bathroom facilities. Yeah, there's wash, flush toilet washrooms, which is nice, but no showers. But, and they are very nice and clean. And they are, They're yeah. really good shape. You just drive through and pick a site if it's available and you're good to go. We're just stopping here for a little snack and for Jax to get a little Stretch bit of exercise. Legs. And then we're going to continue on. Before, we got a couple hours more to go. Before we get to our next stop. Our next stop, which is uh, Tom Bigby State Park. With full hookups. So on the contrary of here. <laughs> That'll be nice. You like the air conditioning. Yes. Yes, it's starting to get a little muggy. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we thought we'd just uh, give you a quick show of what it's like here. And uh, maybe in the cooler weather, cooler weather would be a nice place to stop. Yeah, I would think in spring and fall, this would be an ideal place to oh, come fall to. fall would be beautiful. Like, look at the mm -hmm. leaves. They would be beautiful colors and there's hiking trails through here and if you're a history buff there's a lot of history on this uh, Notches Trace Parkway in the Meriwether Lewis. This is where the explorer Meriwether Lewis died and was buried. Mm -hmm. National should, Monument is right here. Yeah we should uh, maybe swing by it. Yeah. Give you a, give you a peek at it. Mm -hmm. Next up Tom Bigby State Park. See you there. See ya. Trace and Mississippi. We'd appreciate if you did something about your roads because they're pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, we did an eight mile tour of the countryside and we're still trying to get back onto the trace again. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure. We have water, electric, and sewer, which is behind the camera. For the water, I have a flow regulator on here to make sure there isn't too much pressure in here that can cause damage to the uh, plumbing in the trailer. Attached a filter to it. I'm not sure where this water comes from, just to be safe. Um, for the electric, we have our surge protector on here that we always use again to protect the trailer and the electrical system. For the uh, sewage, I'm not going to plug it in now. I'm going to plug it in when it's ready to dump. And we're probably going to dump tomorrow. We've been using the toilet for the last two days. So, uh, and then we're going to use it tonight. We're going to have full nice showers tonight because we're hooked up to everything. And then we'll dump tomorrow. I don't plug it in now because then I have to put gloves on, hook it up. And then tomorrow, I've got to put the gloves on, take it down. I'll do that all in one shot. Just save some time. What you never want to do is leave your valves open, your black and gray valves open, flowing into the uh, sewage here. Open them when they're about uh, two thirds or three quarters full. That's when you dump them. That gets the best uh, flow from gravity to empty the tanks. And this is us, site number 13 at Tom Big B Lake State Park in Tupelo, Mississippi. Site comes with a picnic table, a charcoal barbecue, 
fire pit, sewage, water, and electric. And a fairly level driveway to put the trailer and truck in. And it's certainly not a long walk if you want to go to the comfort station. It's right there. Nice and close. Tom Bigby State Park is located six miles south of Tupelo, Mississippi. It has 20 full-service sites with water, electric, and sewage, along with a picnic table, grill, and fire ring for $32 per night, plus an $8 reservation fee. There are four primitive sites, seven cabins, and one cottage. There is a picnic area with tables, grills, and pavilions. There are meeting rooms, banquet facilities, playgrounds, multi-use field, baseball diamond, two 18-hole disc golf courses, a nature trail, and a mountain biking trail. There's a 90-acre freshwater lake stock with bass, bream, and catfish. A boat launch with trailer parking is available for fishing boats. No swimming is permitted. Okay, so we made it to Thomas Bigby Park here last night. We got here fairly late because there's an hour difference. It was 6.45, but it's like 7.45 our time, so it was uh, 11 hours and 15 minutes on mm -hmm. the road yesterday. Yep. Today's going to be Long very one. similar. Long driving. Yeah. Today we're doing about 800 kilometers. Um, but uh, what a difference this morning made. This is morning number two, and yep. what a difference from yesterday. Last night, we didn't, hear, we didn't hear garbage trucks. We no, didn't hear no highway, traffic. highway. There's nothing. We slept like babies. Yeah. We, we got, woke we up every two hours and hook ups, which is good to get everything taken care of that needed to be. We slept. We got food prepped, finally. Yeah. Um, even though we're still eating pb &J. Had long, nice showers. Or I did anyway. You still had a Navy shower, didn't I you? I still did, because that's what I'm used to. No, I had a nice long shower. Yeah, so I'm. this is my first time out just actually looking around. Nice, nice property. No alligators in this part. That's good. <laughs> so... And now we're packed up. Got to hit the road. We just got to throw Jax in the truck and Our take off. adventure. Oh. Come on. Come on, buddy. There's my boy. There's my good boy. Jax, come see Mama. Come on. So this is an attachment you want to have. I don't often use it, but when we're plugged into a place like this, you can be full time. This puts a proper seal on it. If you do stay hooked up to it, the smells from the sewage aren't going to come out around it. This is going to seal it, so you don't have any sewage smells out here. Um, don't usually use this when we're dumping at a dump station because it's very quick and uh, no problem. This needs to be kept in a container away from everything else though, because it is contaminated. Take the next ride onto Natchez Trace Parkway. Continue on Natchez Trace Parkway for 51 miles.
still have three more hours of driving through this. This is a horrible job that we have to drive through this congestion. Have a look at this. Too much traffic to deal with. Hate all those transport trucks. I'm so stressed out from this traffic. This is rush hour, it's driving me crazy. When will it end? Full oh, three. So close. So close. We need an S at the end of pole. This they did right. All they need is camping with the on top and then we're set. It's getting really hot here. So last fall, I had the rear axle replaced because the uh, tires were wearing, or one tire actually on the other side was wearing very unevenly. So that the axle was bent. So the axle replaced. Now this tire, I've noticed when I look through the rear view mirror or through the side view mirror, the bottom of this tire is warping way out when I'm doing some turns. It caused me a lot of concern. This front tire is staying nice and level. This back one is coming out like that. So I have a look and I see it's wearing right down there. So it's not wearing well at all. I'm hoping we can make it to uh, my sister's place. We still have seven hours to get there. Uh, I'm hoping we can make it with this tire and then I'm gonna have to see about fixing it there. Um, I do have a spare. Uh, we'll have to see what happens, but we gotta get this fixed. Okay, that is it. <laughs> we are done with the Nachos Trace Parkway for our southern trip. Now we're in Natchez, in Mississippi. Quarter mile, turn left onto the US 61 South, US 84 West ramp to US 98 West. And we are heading to Louisiana to Sam Houston Jones State Park. Okay, so there's a fun game that we're playing here. Sorry about the road noise. This road is really loud for some reason. But uh, we're on Highway 165 in Louisiana. And it has a, the highway, it keeps on going as a divided highway with a speed limit of 65. And then the highway joins and it goes into a town and the speed limit is 50. And it's done that four or five times now. And what we've seen is every time the police are waiting for you when it turns 50. And a couple times I'll play ago, it. oh yeah, a couple times ago, we saw a guy in front of us and he went over the hill into the 50 zone. We saw him hit his brakes hard. And I even said to Cheryl, I said, I bet there's a cop up there because that guy just hit his brakes. We went over the hill, saw the cop come out, lights on, went and pulled the guy over. He braked a lot of brakes and cop there. Yep. Ah, the cops went after him. I, 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 yep. I said he braked a lot. There's probably a cop there. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. So then every time it joined again, went down to a 50, we would make sure we we're doing exactly 50 or under 50. And we'd play a game of where's the cop. And we'd find a cop every time, just hiding there waiting to catch somebody. So we're gonna we're gonna try on the next one and we're gonna play the game of where's the cop. So we'll get back to you when we're in the next 50 zone. Stay tuned. So here we are, we're going into a town. It says reduce speed to 50. We know to take off cruise control then and we are going 50. Now let's find the cop. Let's play where's the cop. He's always around the bend. 50, oh. there's the flashing lights, there's the cop. Ah. There he is. Yeah, you got he, somebody going the other way. Yeah. That's too funny. Look at a blacked out cruiser. There's the sign saying reduce speed to 50. Here's the 50 sign. Now let's play Where's the Cop? Let's see. There we go. There it is. 
He's got a traffic stop. Holy cow, I think it's a disco dance party in the back of that police car. Yeah, I think we see him. Okay, that's it. I think that's all we're going to play today for uh, Find the Cop. We were successful a couple of times. There's always a cop on this road. I don't think I can have that done by the time the sun sets. Uh, no, I gotta go fast. Now. I gotta go fast. Diving in the trailer? It doesn't matter. see it's still sticking out the bottom sticking out further than the top that's why it wore so unevenly this was eight to ten minute uh, temporary fix put the new tire on put spare on we're gonna find a store tire store we're gonna replace the uh, tire on the original rim and we're gonna see about uh, getting this thing fixed if we can Hope we can before we go home. Check that out. Smooth. Not good. Very uneven wear. And this is us. And it's stinking hot. Campsite CT001 at Sam Houston Jones State Park. It uh, is almost eight o'clock right now. It is about 34 degrees Celsius with the humidex. They're saying it's 41. We're hot. We had a little bit of a snafu getting here because we, uh, well not getting here, but as soon as we got here, I had to change the tire. That took seven or eight minutes, so that was nice and quick, but I am sweating my butt off doing that. We uh, got hooked up, got the air conditioning going right away. Jack's Got car. Cheryl inside to get the air conditioning. Got my neck fan on. Yeah. So, we're gonna give you a tour of this park shortly, probably in the morning yeah, it's when getting, there's more light. It's like. starting to get dark, dark. It's starting to get dark. dark. <laughs> I can't even talk anymore. You know but what I mean. What I'm looking at this way, I'll show you that in the morning. Show a little bit of the sun setting behind the Last time trees. we were here, we were parked very close to that. And okay, I'll give you a sneak peek. It's a swamp and there's a lot of alligators in there. And we didn't realize that when we pulled in here last time, five years ago when it was pitch dark. But now we know, so we don't let Jax go. Jax is not going to swim in there. This nice campsite comes with a fire pit, a picnic table, a grill, and a nice level concrete pad. Really do like that. So I didn't even have to un unhook the trailer. All I did was uh, put the uh, tongue jack down a little bit just to take some uh, pressure off the, uh, the springs on the back of the truck, put the stabilizing jacks down to try to uh, make it a little smoother when we're walking around in there, and uh, we're good to go. Sam Houston Jones State Park is located just outside of Lake Charles, Louisiana. It has 30 full-service sites with water, electric, and sewage, along with a picnic table, grill, and fire ring for $30 per night plus a $4.50 reservation fee. There are 10 glamping tents, 10 cabins, and one lodge. There are five hiking trails ranging from 0.5 miles to 3.5 miles, two boat launches, two picnic pavilions, and a children's playground. No swimming is permitted. The cabins at Sam Houston Jones State Park seem to be a little more upscale than the cabins you find at Ontario Parks. TV over the fireplace on the front porch with rocking chairs.
So this is our third morning. It is uh, 30 degrees and so humid right now. Uh, Jax and I are just out for a little walk while Cheryl's getting the trailer ready so we can do her final push to get to my sister's place. It's a short day today. I think we have like 267 kilometers to go, something like that. So a few hours and we're there. Time to do some mooch docking. temperature apparently is 92 degrees so this is like a really big hot tub right now it's not heated it's just 92 degrees but still it's better than being out there where it's 100 degrees my brothers have arrived for the party Good morning my brother Brad right here voila <laughs> Then we got my brother Jeff over here in the red. Greg, number one. Greg number in one. the pink. He's number one. And Greg's husband, John, right here. Hi. How are you? So this is the birthday girl. This is my sister, Susan. This is her place here. She's hosting this for all of us. It's amazing. Uh, I'm too much of a gentleman to say how old she's turning, but I will say it rhymes with nixty. <laughs> <laughs> So we never this is my brother-in-law Troy. He's married to Susan. This is his place here. He's hosting us all. It is awesome. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. Come back anytime. <laughs> all right, thanks. Well, we made it to Texas. This isn't uh, exactly how we planned to get here. Um, it turns out that it sure looks like the axle is bent and uh, the left rear wheel uh, on this bent axle um, it was destroyed, as you saw. I had to uh, uh, replace that with the spare. Um, it, you can see it's still really warped out. The uh, wheel on the other side now seems to be warping out a bit too. So we can't continue like this. We, we can't drive home 3,000 kilometers um, with an axle that is getting progressively worse. Uh, I don't know why it's getting worse, but it is. So um we're heading home in a couple of days it's uh turning into the weekend and we got to figure out something to do about this axle or uh, we're not getting home so uh stay tuned to find out what happens uh we'll come out with the next video next week um i'm really interested to find out what's going to happen too so we'll see you then 